students let's start off with the fifth question hope you would have watched the earlier videos uh, as, as i told you relax don't worry so paragraph based question should uh, while doing these you need to have a complete analysis of organic chemistry nothing to it i'll tell you how to do it go step by step along with me even in the exam try to apply the same way of analyzing you will get the answer right let's see this question here in this question they said uh, an organic compound a the formula is given to me it is c3h6o is susceptible to oxidation okay and forms compound b here also the formula of b is given to me after that they said b on uh, means uh, forms compound b on reduction okay and then they said b reacts with hbr to form compound c then they said c with magnesium forms grignard's reagent d then they said which reacts with a to form a product which on hydrolysis gives e identify a to e a b c d e everything you have to find out nothing first of all i mean such question is given to you try to put it in make a summary of this and start summary of the given facts first they said compound a what is the formula c3h6o what is this a this is susceptible to oxidation but it forms a compound b on reduction so this went undergone a reduction and formed a compound whose formula is c3h8o this is compound b then they said this b reacts with hbr so it it has reacted with hbr what does it form it has formed compound c have they given any formula for compound c they have not given us so just write c and keep then they said compound c was treated means c with when it was treated with magnesium it forms grignard's reagent grignard reagent what is the grignard's reagent it is d now they said this d when it has reacted with a it has formed a product so we don't know that we will write product now this product it seems when it was allowed to undergo hydrolysis it has undergone hydrolysis it has given me e i don't know what is e also so this is a summary of the facts if you write the summary of the facts it's easy now first of all let's see where can i find the clue they said this formulas are given they said a compound c means formation of grignard's reagent from d so, uh, this d formation of grignard's reagent from c with what with magnesium what does it indicate it compulsory indicates that c is an alkyl bromide why did i say this because alkyl bromide they undergo addition products with magnesium they are organometallic compounds isn't it alkyl alkyl halides rather alkyl halides they combine with magnesium forms rmgx isn't it grignard's reagent is nothing but rmgx this is one clue which i have got now we'll go back now this c whatever is there how did it we get we have got we have treated it with means it, this is formed when you are treating b with hbr so alkyl bromide means if this is rbr let us say take because rbr plus mg is rmgx or rmgbr so this is rbr this has we got this by treating with hbr b should be what yes b should be compulsory and alcohol how did i say this because if it is an alcohol hbr just see here you take out this oh and you finally get a uh, uh, br goes and adds to that and you get an alkyl halide okay this is confusing ma'am what should you remember see they said something on reduction gives this compound which one on reduction gives us an aldehydes on reduction gives alcohols correct okay. alcohols on oxidation gives aldehydes aldehydes on oxidation gives acids or the reverse order aldehydes on reduction gives alcohols because i got this clue here also i got a clue here also i got a clue i can start off my answer i think 
yes let's start now let me start writing the formula now they told me what did they said i now i have understood it is an uh, alkyl bromide i told you, you know grignard's reagent let me start what is the formula of a given to me formula is c3 h6o this is a which is given to me now i said next we have got one more that is b what is the c3 h8o i have got also c which reacted with hbr here it has gone undergone reduction now i told you aldehydes on reduction gives alcohols now how many carbons are there c3 i don't one two three aldehyde i said put cho now fill it ch3 ch2 cho aldehyde now reduction alcohol one two three oh fill in the hydrogens three two two done now when this is treated with uh, br see here goes out and you get ch3 ch2 ch2 br now you treating with this with this magnesium addition product this whole goes and adds to this mgbr what is this this is d what is the name of this compound one two three propyl propyl magnesium bromide now what are you going to do you said you are treating it with a now what is our a a is an aldehyde that is ch3 has ch2 propanol what do we get we get an adduct because both will combine together you get an addition product what do we get we get a very very long chain of carbon atom I am adding everything. See, I will show you how I have added. CH3 OMGBR. Come, let us count. Go back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have added the whole thing. And near this O, it picks up and MGBR goes in ads. Now, further, we have allowed it to undergo hydrolysis. When you undergo hydrolysis, what will happen? H and OH will add here. H will add here, OH will add here, and there's a cleavage of the bond. What do we get? We get the final product CH3, CH2, CH, OH, CH2, CH2, CH3. Plus Mg OH Br. What is the name of this compound? This is E. What is this? What is the name? 1, 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, hex. But what is the uh, function group? It is hexan 3 all. Hexan 3 all. This is a compound. So, hope this is clear, students. I have first, as soon as this is given, I have read the question. I have made, made the summary of facts. After that, I picked up one clue. Then I started solving the whole thing. So, let me come back and meet you with the next question. This is the sixth question. Right. So, uh, welcome students. Let us start off with the sixth question. So, hope you would have understood the fifth question. I am doing it very slowly so that you have a clear understanding. Now, as I told you, whenever a paragraph based question is given to you, try to make summary of given facts. Then it's easy for you. Right. So, in this question, they said a ketone A with this formula which undergoes halo form uh, reaction gives compound B on reduction. Done. B on heating with sulfuric acid gives a compound C which forms mono ozonide D. D on hydrolysis in the presence of zinc dust gives only acetaldehyde E. Identify A, B, C, D, E and write the reactions involved. So as soon as that question, such question is given, I told you, try to make the summary of facts. So what is summary of fact for this particular thing? C. They said a, a ketone A. Okay. Now a ketone is given C4H8O. This is A, a ketone. This one un, un, forms or it undergoes haloform reaction, gives compound B on reduction. This means that uh, this compound A has undergone reduction and has given me compound B. Have they given any formula for B? Not given. Then they said this compound on treatment with sulfuric acid and heating also. What did it give? It has given compound C. 
this compound C it forms mono ozonide that means when you get ozonide when you do ozonolysis process that means C was allowed to undergo ozonolysis it has given compound D what is this this is nothing but mono ozonide mono mo okay hyphen ozonide done they said this compound further on hydrolysis it is allowed to undergo hydrolysis itself hydrolysis in the presence of zinc what did we get we have got a compound they said we have got only acetaldehyde they have given already formula here acetaldehyde clue e that's done so this is the basic summary of facts now i have to identify a b c d e let's start let's see whether we have got any clue and we can so that we can start off they said compound a undergoes halo form reaction they said halo form or iodo form which will undergo halo form or iodo form reactions basically the compounds which have methyl ketones isn't it the compound which have methyl ketone only will undergo halo form reaction yes that means compulsory the first one should be a should contain a methyl ketone group and so from here i can start off now let's see c4h8o because it undergoes halo form reaction c4h8o uh, how can i write i said it should have compound uh, it should have a methyl ketone ch3 see here already in c4h8o how much is it to have two carbons are over how many i have two more carbons i have so ch2 this is ch3 c4 one two three four carbons h8 three four five six seven eight done this on reduction what will it give yes <coughs> they said it gives a compound what is the compound they said it is a compound b nothing they've given so methyl ketones on reduction what is it what do they give they give alcohols yes so what is the corresponding alcohol ch3 ch2 ch OH CH3 this is compound B they said you are further treating it with sulfuric acid and you are heating it dehydrating agent it has to remove water OH from here yes and H from here OH from here and H from here is removed so you are removing water because dehydrating agent what do you get the bond shifts here the bond from here it shifts what do you get you get an alkene what is this alkene this alkene is nothing but butene because four carbons in second carbon you have this this is compound c now this for the compound c we said it is undergoing it forms mono ozonide that it undergoes ozonolysis where will it break it exactly breaks at its double bond and oxygen adds at this position how does this look ch3 is here ch one oxygen adds here one more carbon is here ch3 we have two more oxygens which are linked this is mono ozonide which they have told mono ozonide then further you are treating it with zinc dust and undergoes hydrolysis there is a cleavage of the bond here ch3 cho see here there is a cleavage of the bond what do you get when there is a cleavage of the bond both the sides you have cho ch3 ch3 double times so make it 2 ch3 you have o ch3 cho this is compound e this is how you have to analyze friends hope this is clear so what is this compound this is compound e so you will write compound a is this one compound b is this compound c is this compound uh, 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 d this is no this is d this is e this is d compound d is the product monosone compound e is this this is how you have to analyze right i'll meet you again with the next question that is question number seven